Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, Epic have got me in Fortnite again. Now, I do play, of course, as you can see, but I play with my children. I have a full squad at home with Logan, Tegan, and Brooke. We uh, we have a full squad, and we play with them. They love it. So it's uh, it's a good shooter for them to play, and they love the Battle Royale genre, as uh, you, know, you would expect, <laughs> being my children. Um, but we're going to check out, because they've added ray tracing, and this is why they've managed to, to drag me in. Uh, so we are playing 1440p. We've got the cap out at 165 FPS. Not that we're going to meet that. Everything on Epic. DirectX 12, you have to put it on the beta uh, to enable the DLSS. Well, not DLSS, but the ray tracing. The DLSS, obviously, is the scaling. And we put it on performance. Ray tracing is on. Shadows, reflections on Epic. Ambient occlusion on. Global illumination on high. So we are going to check this out and uh, do a comparison between ray tracing on and off and find a nice watery area and see the difference. And obviously the performance here we're going to take. I'll turn on my graphs as always so we can see the performance difference between DLSS and ray tracing on or off. And whether it's something you'd want to do for just having the looks. Obviously a lot of people who play this kind of competitively, all the pros will probably just not have it on and turn settings down because that's the best way to play if you want the best performance and the best skills and the best kills. And here we are in game. Uh, we can see a good few dips, but it does settle eventually. Let's, uh, let's just go down. Over there's nice. Uh, the, uh, the Coralie Cove place. But considering it's 1440p maxed out with ray tracing on, of course we've got the LSS on on performance. All those those drops are pretty bad at the moment. It it, it kind of settles though. It does settle down. Let's get somewhere where we can see these ray trace reflections and things like that. And we can see the reflections already in the water there, reflecting the island. Of course, we'll turn this all back off. And land back in the same spot with all of the ray tracing off. But you can see all the ray trace reflections. And it does reflect the boat as well. There we go. We can see the boat's reflection in the water there. So the frame rate now we're on the ground is kind of settled at around the 60 FPS mark, up and down a little bit. So we're not going to hit that. <laughs> we're definitely not going to hit that 165 FPS refresh rate. The 60 FPS is is playable. Fluctuates a little bit, but uh, it looks good. It's well optimized actually, I think for. Fortnite. I know visually it's uh, got that very cartoony look, hasn't it? Very stylized, but considering we're running on a 2070 Super, it's not too bad. But it's, uh, it's getting our temperatures up. Here we go. We get a nice shot. All the flashing lights down there in the water, the waterfall reflecting. All the ruins, the temples. The shadow there on the on the ground, but oh, hang on, no, it does reflect us. I can see my reflection. Got a shadow on the right and just below us. See our reflection. Will it reflect? Yep. Reflects our remote as well. So yeah, the reflection of our character is there as well. Not that you're going to see that much, but. Uh, looking good. So we have frame timing issues when we're up in the air, but it seems to settle down big time once we are actually on the surface. I don't know if that's just all of the information up high we're seeing the whole map. When we get to the ground, it does actually settle down uh, the frame timing slightly. There we go. It's, it's all over the place right now, but it should again settle down. Of course, we have none of these issues with ray tracing off, so... Just came here because got Iron Man's car there. 
And it's shiny. So we got shot a little bit, so it's not as shiny as it was. But you can see those frame timings have settled down completely since we've landed. There we go. We can see our reflection in the car there. Park up up near this lake where it's quiet. So we've got our whole character reflection in the side of this car. That's a much better example, actually. It's a shame the car got a bit damaged there on our escape, but you get the idea. Reflections are there. Let's actually try some fire. And see if our car's reflected as well. In the uh, water here. Yep, there we go. We got our car reflected right there. Okay, we tidied our HUD up a little bit there. But we can see... The reflections of our car. Of course. And the ray tracing in the side of the car. We can see our character there. But look at that. Right, ray tracing just does spring a whole new life into gaming. Uh, definitely excited for the future of ray tracing. I'm not 100% sure if that's reflecting the world behind me. I don't think it is on the actual the X on the back of Storm here. Let's see if we can see the reflection again. It would be better if it weren't dented, but... Yep, we see our full animation in there, of course. Let's see if we can see... Reflection of fire. Not sure, we're we not seeing... I don't think we're seeing the reflection of fire there. No, we're definitely not seeing them trees on fire, are we? Okay, here we are back where we started, and this is a big difference already. This is actually using the screen space reflections right here. And uh, we can notice on the back of Storm here, the cross, the X, is totally different. It's not shiny anymore. It's kind of like glittery, a bit matty looking. So it definitely had an effect on there through the ray tracing. Still running at 1440p, we can see we are getting a decent FPS boost of about 40 FPS on average. Let's see if we get a reflection of our boat. So there still is a reflection there, but the water just looks... It looks totally different. We do some zoom-ins and comparisons side by side so you can see. That's screen space reflections for you versus ray tracing. You can see it's not 100% accurate and moves with the waves really weirdly. Of course, running on the same system specs as always, the Ryzen 3900X CPU 2070 Super GPU with 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 3000 megahertz memory. Now let's see if I can grab this car quick without taking damage, but we'll see. Nope, it didn't work. Oh, that's very surprising that it looks like we've still got a screen space reflection of our character. That is very interesting. Of course, <laughs> again, it's all messed up and not as good as ray trace reflections, but it's there. That's actually surprising that that's actually there on the vehicle, to be fair. And uh, obviously the vehicle shadow is there, but screen spaced... But to be honest, screen space reflections are pretty impressive on their own. Especially these days. But again, you can see the... Uh, they're not as sharp, shimmering, and a lot of anti-aliasing on that. But hey, reflections are still there. So it's not like if you can't run ray tracing, you still can't get reflections that look decent. But I hope you enjoyed this. Show it to your friends, share it around, show your kids... See what they think of the look and the difference between an uh, expensive graphics card running on PC or the console that they may play on or anything like that. Um, their opinion. Do they like it? Do they just prefer it how it is? Is it not really fuss them? I'll show my kids. See what they think. Let's talk about this in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button as it helps the channel out a lot. 
subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you peeps next time.